So hi everybody, this is Valerie with JNS Hobbies and Crafts and today we are going to make the cutest little monkey hut. And the monkey hut is going to be made out of Heartfelt Creations Monkeying Around Paper Collection. This paper collection is so cute. And I'm going to be using just a select few for the monkey hut and saving the rest to make a card later. So just to let you know. The monkey hut is made from scratch and it's going to involve starting off using some craft colored index stock that I'm creating the hut with and then I'll cover it up with the paper later. Also I will be using Heartfelt Creations monkeying around stamps and dies. One is monkeying around and the other is palm trees and monkeys. So are you ready to get started? Let's go. So to start off with we're going to cut two six inch wide index stock. These two pieces will become the base of the tiki hut and they are about five inches in diameter once we put them together. After that we're going to cut another piece of index stock approximately eight inches in diameter with a four inch slit to the center that will become the tiki hut's roof. I made a little side note here that you should put your hut together after you cover it with the paper you're going to choose mm -hmm. as well as putting the hole in for the monkey hut because if you do it afterwards you have to cut it while it's put together. So as you can see here I chose one of the pieces of paper that had the leaves on it for my base and then I wrapped it around and glued it on. Of course I had to cut two pieces and then I cut my hole out later because it was an afterthought. The next thing we're going to do is use the raffia and the raffia is going to cover the top of the tiki hut. I'm not going to cover the entire roof because after I'm done hot gluing the raffia to the roof, I'm going to take another piece from the collection and add it to the top. I chose the one, of course, that had the pretty flowers. The circle I put on top is exactly the same size as the other one. Once I attached it, I cleaned up the edges of my raffia. Now it's time for me to start making the stamps and dies. I start with the leaf, stamping it onto some white index stock. I prefer to color all my things in before I actually run them through the die. Um, I use my Dove Blender as well as my brush sticks to apply color and dimension. And I'm going to do this to several items. Once I cut them out, I'm going to start attaching them to the roof. I just kind of put them all over and then added a little uh, glitter to them later. I also decided to make my monkeys with my stamps and dies. And as you can see here, I did a lot of detailing with my brush sticks. And I eventually cut them all out with a die cutter and here I am applying the die and there's some monkeys. Instead of fussy cutting all of the monkeys out of the paper I decided to use the stamps and dies that came with the collection and I started to attach them to the roof. So I've got hanging monkeys, I've got swinging monkeys and eventually there's even a monkey on a hammock inside the hut. Okay, to attach the roof I needed to use some little tabs so I just cut some more index stock and created these little foldable tabs at the top and then I decided to use my score tape because it doesn't have to wait to dry and added that, put my roof on top, flipped it over, attached the tabbies and then the roof was all in place. So all in all the Tiki Hut went together really well. I think it turned out really cute and it really surprised Shelly because she was so excited she's even going to take it home and put it in her craft room. So at the end of the video is the URL to JNS Hobbies and Crafts where you can get all your supplies to make this little tiki hut. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Have a great day and happy crafting.